Hello and welcome to uh, this new video. Mm, we're going to show on it uh, how to do a basic configuration to expose the services that you can uh, have running on your uh, Synology and NAS. So for that, the first thing that we're going to do is going to go to Control Panel and then uh, navigate to Login Portal. These are all the services that you will find on a Synology NAS. These are basic services, as I call them. And here you can see the uh, Synology drive. Uh, this process uh, is going to be the same no matter which is the service that you are activating. So as you can see, the Synology drive service is not, at the moment, is not exposed. So we're going to double click on it. And uh, uh, I did it, and then we're going to assign one uh, port to this web service. So, for the sake of the demo, we're going to choose um, a, the standard port, which in this case, as you can see, is 10.002. Uh, and uh, we're going to expose it uh, on over HTTP. We will explain it um, later on. And, and that's essentially all you have to do. You just have to expose the service. You can give it a name if you wish, but um, that is not going to make any difference. So with that, we uh, click on the Save button. We have, uh, as you can see, uh, set this port. And from there, we're going to navigate to our Cloudflare um, dashboard. So we do have uh, several domains on uh, Cloudflare. We're going to choose one of them, uh, this one here. And then from uh, this page, we're going to open the um, access um, button. We're going to launch the Zero Trust um, dashboard from here. And then we will uh, go to our uh, tunnels, which is uh, under this access category here. We click on tunnels. And there we'll, you will see uh, the list of all the tunnels that are running on your um, Cloudflare account. I will click this one here, which is the tunnel that is running on my Synology. And we can see all the list of different services that I have exposed on my Synology. So if I click, if I click on uh, Add a New Subdomain, I will give it a name like Drive. I link it to the domain. And then here I set HTTP as a protocol. And then the URL. On the URL, I'm going to choose the IP address, the local IP address of my Synology which in my case is 192.168.1.14 and then here the important thing is the port and the port is going to be this one here right so uh, in this case it's 10002 and that's pretty much pretty much it all we have to do now is uh, click on save host name this is going to automatically create a dns entry on my uh, cloudflare account and it is going to point to the service that is exposed on my uh, Synology, as you can see here. So if I now go to drive dot number of uh, name of my uh, domain, you will see that we are entering straight into the um, drive portal. So just for the sake of the demo, let me change uh, the um, the uh, look and feel of this. Let me put it um, um, login title like this one here. This is my Synology. And then I can I can even change the background if I wish. And uh, let me put here a message saying something like "Welcome uh, to Cloudflare." I click on Save here. This is the local view. You see it has been changed. I apply, I apply the settings. And then if I go now to the 
public page exposed through uh, Cloudflare and I refresh here, you will see that it has been updated. So uh, I hope you like this tutorial. As I said at the beginning of the video, this is the exact same configuration that you have to do if you want to expose your uh, video station, uh, photo station, whatever is the service that is running on your Synology. And that way you will be able to access it from outside your local network through a proxy in uh, Cloudflare. Again, as I said, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.